Hey guys, so we have been writing our autobiography for the last few weeks. We started with our outline and we kind of filled that in with our different ideas about the topics. And then we took each of those boxes and we created a different paragraph. This is my rough copy, my rough draft. I went back and revised and edited it. I looked for words that were misspelled or um, things that were not complete sentences or maybe I just messed up in some places and I tried to fix that. So that's kind of what I worked on um, that. So each paragraph that I did here, I turned into its own page in my own body autobiography. So like here, this was the first paragraph that I had on my rough draft and I put it on its own page okay so I also found some photographs um, if you don't have photographs that's okay you can just draw pictures um, I drew a picture of Texas I didn't have a picture of that so I'm going to uh, rotate the phone and put it over so you can um, look at my autobiography and I'll read it to you and I'll show you my pictures um, yours might not look exactly like this. You might not have this kind of construction paper at home uh, to use, but I would like it to be sort of organized so that each paragraph is on, on, on its own page and then you can draw your pictures or use photographs, okay? All right, this is Miss Wardlaw's autobiography. My name is Shasta Wardlaw and I was born on July 30th, 1984. I was born in Dallas, Texas. My parents are Calvin Rose and Susan Bass. I have one sister, Cindy, who is older than me. I also have three older brothers, Levi, Garrett, and James. I have two younger brothers, Josh and Jeremy. I grew up in Kilgore, Texas and went to Kilgore schools for most of my life. You can see in my pictures, I drew Texas and then I drew Dallas where I was born. And then I drew Kilgore because that's where I grew up most of my life. Um, this is Calvin Rose. That's my dad. And then this is my mom, Susan. And then I put my brother James. My brothers Garrett and Levi. And then my brother Jeremy and Josh. And then my sister Cindy. So those are my pictures. Again, you don't have to use photographs. You can just draw it if you would rather do that or if you don't have the photographs, okay? When I was in 10th grade, I moved to California with my dad. I rode my bike to school every day with my stepbrother, Jeffrey. We went to the market in Mexico most weekends. Miss Rice was my English teacher in California, and we are still pen pals today. So this is where I drew California. El Centro's down here. That's where I lived, and that's why we were able to go to Mexico most of the weekends, because this is Mexico right here. And then this is just a pretend letter that I put on there to wrote to Miss Rice. When I was 21 years old, I married Mr. Wardlaw. We were married on September 24, 2005 at a church in Kilgore. Once we were married, I attended the University of Texas at Tyler. I graduated from college and began teaching. So this is my wedding picture from September 24. And this is a graduation picture. This is actually not the graduation picture from when I graduated the first time. This is actually when I graduated in May with my master's. But I didn't have one of the other ones. So that's what I used. On December 26, 2007, I became a mom. Kristen was born with her curly red hair. On October 12, 2009, I became a mom to Noah. They keep me very busy. They both attend Spring Hill. I enjoy spending time with them and traveling with them. So, there's me with Kristen and there's me with Noah. And my pictures. For my 30th birthday, my friends and family joined me at the main event. We played laser tag and bold, which are two of my favorite things to do. Mr. Wardlaw, Kristen, Noah, and I like to travel. We have been many places together. I also like to hike and rollerblade. Reading and making crafts are some of my favorite activities. So here's a picture of Kristen, Noah, Mr. Wardlaw, and I traveling. Here's a book for reading and then a rollerblade because I love to rollerblade. 
in my last page. Volunteering is something I'm passionate about. Feeding the homeless at Jesus Burger and helping at Highway 80 Rescue Mission are important to me. Going to, ten, going to Kenya and teaching was a unique experience. Operation Christmas Child seeks to bring joy and gifts to kids all around the world. These things, combined with my love of teaching, help to make me be a unique person. And this is the Jesus Burger logo for uh, the Longview chapter. Operation Christmas Child that sends gifts to children around the world. And then Kenya, because that's where I went. So I look forward to seeing your autobiographies that you do. Um, it's all about you, so I want you to just really give it uh, your very best, okay? Bye!